Hello Taurus. Today's video is going to be a reading all about how your person is feeling about you, about the connection. What are they thinking? What are their energies? We're going to be looking at all of that today. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation, and leave the rest. So let's jump in for Taurus. For Taurus, spirit, in love. What is their person thinking or feeling about Taurus? Spirit, what is Taurus's person thinking or feeling about them, about this connection? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. What else? What is this person thinking or feeling? Nothing compares to our connection. So I feel like this person <laughs> is realizing that wherever they went after you wasn't comparable. What else? What are they thinking or feeling, Spirit? I know deep down that you are my one true love. Yeah, this person's realizing that there is no replacing you, basically, is what I'm getting. I think maybe they tried. Maybe they thought they could, but they can't. They can't, you're, you're irreplaceable is basically what I'm getting so far. Spirits, angels, guides, more, more insight, please, into this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with. What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus or this connection? Five of Pentacles. What are they thinking or feeling? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. The Hangman, I want this one as well. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have the Empress. So I feel like this might be you here, Taurus. Sometimes this can um, symbolize Taurus or Libra energy. Hang on one second. Um, now with the Hangman and the Seven of Swords, I'm almost picking up like, like uh, someone watching you secretly. Um, I'll have to double check, clarify that. But that's what I'm getting. Almost like this person is spying on you. Now the chariot is here, so this person could be at a distance from you. They might want to move things forward. They might want to come towards you. We'll see. Let's start with this five of pentacles though. Why is the five of pentacles here? I feel like this is how your person is currently feeling um, left out, abandoned, away from you, apart from you. Tell me about this five of pentacles. Eight of wands. King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that possibly wants to communicate here with the King of Swords, Eight of Wands. And I think they want to communicate emotions or something regarding love here with the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Wands. So this is someone that wants to talk bottom of the deck the high priestess the lovers after that gemini energy so i feel like this is this is someone that is um i feel like being intuitively guided towards you especially with these two cards the lovers and the high priestess they're both spiritual cards for for me specifically as a reader i don't um normally see these two together so that's very interesting to me <laughs> um like sometimes like this could be uh, a secret love or a secret admirer, like a secret love affair, but I'm not getting that this time around. I'm getting like spiritual connection. Tell me more about this page of wands. What do they want to say specifically? I'm trying to see if I can get some insight into what they want to communicate. What do they want to communicate spirit with this page of wands? What do they want to say? 
Three of Wands, King of Wands. The Moon, Pisces Energy. Yeah, there's something here with intuition, illusions, and there's a Wheel of Fortune once again. Um, something is like divinely being guided here or orchestrated here. And with the moon, interesting, there could be um, a lack of clarity. Maybe you're not in communication with this person. Maybe there's distance between you and this person, like energetically. Um, it's like this person is far away, so they can only speculate. They can only guess, right? Um, I feel like they want to have clarity here with the king of wands, page of wands. And I think also with the king of wands and page of wands, this is someone that, again, like action, um, they want to come forward. They want to take some sort of action here. We'll see what else we get. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Six of cups. Why is the chariot here? Six of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Chariot? Four of One of Pentacles, sorry, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like this is someone that has held back. Um, I feel like they have held back probably as long as they could. Um, maybe they've thought about you all this time. Um, I, cause this four of pentacles could all be someone that's holding on to something, but I feel like with the four of swords, it's like, you know, there wasn't communication. There was almost like, um, like a pause. Um, but I think this person wants to come forward now, especially with the six of pentacles, six of cups. I'm getting someone that's giving something to you. And both of these cards, someone's handing something to another person. So it's almost like they want to make you an offer of some sort. Can I get one more for the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups? Can I get one more for the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, please? Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting, oh, geez, no way. Okay, so that's why the Hangman is here. So this is somebody that is hot and cold in the sense of, they're really doubtful and almost like overwhelmed, right? And I think that's why the hangman is here too. It's almost like they're observing you to see if they have a chance or they're observing the land, getting the, the feel of the land before they actually get out there. And it's because there's doubts, especially with the moon, like they're not sure how you feel perhaps or if you're gonna even be open to this. And so I feel like it almost like keeps them a bit stuck even though deep down they do want to heal this with the star aquarius energy um they do want to bring stability to this connection maybe they were gone for too long tell me about the hangman and the seven of swords why is the hangman here with the seven of swords nine of wands why is the hangman here with the seven of swords yeah, I just get this very watchful energy and almost like paranoid, like, are you with someone else? What are you up to? The Magician. Can I get one more for the Hangman and the Seven of Swords? Why is the Hangman here? Yeah, so they want to come forward. They want to make this happen. There's a star again. But I feel like there's almost like trust issues or something here where someone feels like they have to kind of watch and be on guard. Um, maybe because, I don't know, and I don't know if this person has an ego or their pride is maybe, you know, making them act this way. Because I'm getting like stubborn energy here. But I think the goal is simple. You know, the goal is to extend an offer. The goal is to have communication. They know what they want to do. But for some reason, this is someone who I feel isn't sure of how you're going to, you know, take them or if you will accept them, if 
their offer will be accepted, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I feel like they, they think about this a lot. They wonder how this would go, especially with the seven of, of pentacles here. The seven of pentacles uh, is a card about, you know, concern over the future. Hoping for the best, but not sure, right? There's an uncertainty there. And this person is definitely out in the cold. So that they don't, I, don't, I feel like they don't have easy access to you. And so that makes things more difficult for them. I feel like they, they have no choice but to resort to kind of sneaking around, um, maybe watching you on social media, maybe keeping tabs on you in some way, um, and having this like sneaky energy. So let's get some more insight into their energies and intentions. Spirit, tell me about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with. What are their current energies or intentions when it comes to Taurus or this connection? What are their energies or intentions when it comes to Taurus or this connection? Spirit? Pure seduction, standing firm, time out, timing is of the essence. Yeah, with this pure seduction card, it's almost like, at, you know, this person is very drawn to you, tempted, desires you. Yeah, look what's at the bottom of the deck, secret admirer, exactly. I feel like they feel that maybe timing is important here. Like they need to approach you in the right time. Uh, maybe a lot of time has passed between you and this person. I'm getting that some of you are definitely going to be resistant towards this person and they know it. Because I feel like with the grass wasn't greener on the other side, nothing compares to our connection. They probably left to go somewhere where they thought they were going to have something better than you or just as good and they were wrong. You are not someone that's easily replaced. And so they're probably thinking Taurus is never going to want me back after what's happened between us. And let me know if that's the case in the comments. Um, but this is what your person is feeling or thinking at this time. Definitely have this secret admire energy. I was picking it up for sure. And with this pure seduction card, you know... It's easy to want something when the other, it, you know, when the grass isn't greener, it's easy to come and look back, right? Can I get some insight, please, into this page of wands, king of wands? Because I don't really see action from this person. This coming forward with the chariot, I feel like they're back and forth about this. Like they, they're maybe hesitant. That's the word, hesitant. They're hesitating. Can I get some more insight into this page of wands, king of wands? Yeah, they're hesitating because they fear that you're going to be like this. Blocking them, resistant, not interested. Um, maybe even like put up a fight here. The high priestess again. So, you know, it's almost like they're trying to maybe like what's the what's that phrase like sniff around <laughs> just to see if you know are you going to even be open to this or are you just going to like throw them out you know because i feel like this person has no idea can i get one more for this seven of swords the wheel of fortune yeah this person wants an opportunity um eight of pentacles they're probably working up the courage or working on how to make the best offer emperor energy behind that Aries um, to kind of like I feel make you an offer that maybe you'll actually be open to and timing is very important it's almost like your person maybe I don't know if you're like newly single or something where like time is 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 important um, so that's what I have for you Taurus I hope that you enjoyed this um, short and sweet reading on what your person's currently thinking or feeling. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment um, to say hi, or let me know if the reading resonated. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box. 
and I will hopefully see you all in another video very soon. Take care.